everywhere because I'm doing a review and a look and this video is going to be this look using the brand new Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. This palette is incredible. It is so, so beyond beautiful and I think it is absolutely amazing and I can't wait to share this look with you guys. It is using um, the Naked palette and then their new, or not new, I keep on saying that, new to me Solstice eyeshadow. This is a single shadow that just kind of like gets popped on the lid if I can open it. It is so, so pretty. So it is using these two things and I hope you guys enjoy this look so much. I'm really working on my lighting and everything for makeup so I normally don't do makeup looks because I hate my lighting and I need to get well I don't hate my lighting I need to get a few more things for makeup looks so I hope that this lighting is okay and I hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial all right keep on watching so to get started I have just moisturized clean skin and I'm actually gonna do my eyes before I do the rest of my face so I'm just gonna spray my priming spray by Urban Decay I love this stuff and then do my brows. You guys have seen me do my brows before. Just basically going to fill them in and make them look pretty. And then I'm going to prime my eyes with Primer Potion by Urban Decay. I just like to put this all over my lid and then a little bit under my eyes as well because shadow is going to be going everywhere around my eyes. So we need the primer everywhere around our eyes. And then I'm going to move on to a base. Now this is NYX's black base. I'm going to use a small dense packing brush and I'm going to apply this towards my lid really focus it towards the lid and then kind of smudge it up towards the crease we don't want it to go past our crease line we just want it to kind of sit right here and I'm going to use a very little amount of this stuff because it is extremely pigmented and we just need a little bit of a base so that our shadow stays and isn't um, see-through this is just a really awesome tip to use underneath really dark shadows once I've got this kind of blended a little bit into my crease, then I'm going to pack a little bit more densely onto my lid just right near my lash line to make sure that the intensity just kind of gets lighter and lighter as it fades up. Once you look like you've punched yourself in the face, then we're going to move on to the extremely exciting part, the naked smoky look. So I'm going to go in with Combust on a large fluffy blending brush and I'm going to put this above my crease. This is going to be our first transition for all these dark colors that we're about to get into. So then I'm going to move on to mixing whiskey and combust together and on a smaller blending brush, this is the Makeup Geek one that I absolutely am obsessed with, I'm going to apply this in windshield wiper motions through my crease and a little bit above my crease. This is going to be our main transition and I really go in there and work this color in. Smoky eyes are all about blending. If I tell you blend, blend again. This is such an important step to these looks because you do not want to have any harsh lines in this type of a look. Then moving on to a dark color, we're going to mix Black Market and Smolder together and using a small dense packing brush, I'm going to apply this right to my lid. Start out kind of near your lash line and then move up a little bit. You want to get kind of right up but not into your crease. And I kind of just go along and build it up as I'm moving up. And once we've done this, then I'm just going to go back into the combo of Whiskey and Combust. And I'm just going to blend this harsh line and I'm going to play this right into my crease. Now I really want to make sure that I'm blending out that lid color. So kind of like all of this combination of everything together is just going to help it melt and transition really softly. This is another important part where you need to blend and really work this out. I know, I mean, if you guys watch Jaclyn Hill, you guys would have seen, she says blend, blend, and blend some more, and it is so true. So I'm going to do this kind of in windshield wiper motions and just work on the areas that I feel like needs to be blended. Hopping back into Combust, we're going to play this all over the top of our brow bone, brow bone going down into the transition. And then I'm going to get a little tiny bit of 13 and I'm going to take this and apply it right under my brow bone for a really beautiful highlight. And then I'm going to go back underneath and using the same shades. Working with Combust and Whiskey mist, mixed together, I'm going to apply this all over my under lash line. And I'm going to kind of bring it out a little bit and smoke it into that top part of the corner of my eye. 
And then once I do that, I'm just gonna hop back into a mix of Black Market and Smolder and put this on the outer corner of my eye to really just darken that shade up. If you need to blend it out a little bit softer with a large blending brush or like this one by Sigma, um, I like to just kind of go in and smoke it out a little bit to soften it up. To make this look pop, I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in Solstice. This is the most gorgeous iridescent purpley blue shadow ever. And it reminds me of a mermaid scale. It's amazing. So I'm just going to pop this in the center of my lid using my fingertip. It's the easiest way for me to put it on. And then if you need to go back in with your dark lid color and kind of just make sure that you do the edges a little bit more so that that glittery solstice color really stays in the center of the eye. And then I'm just going to hop over and use high and I'm going to put this on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten it, add some pop and some shine because that's one of my favorite things to do in an eyeshadow look. Then using my Lorac Pro Pen, this is a really gorgeous deep black liner, I'm going to just line the outer corner of my eye. I'm not going to wing it out or anything like that. I'm just going to line the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to apply apply mascara, lashes, and my base makeup, which will be listed down below. To finish up this look, I'm going to pop a little bit of Milani's Power Blush in Romantic Rose onto my cheeks. This blush is so pretty and very soft to go with a dark eye look like this. I am obsessed with this blush so much, and I think it is so perfect for this look. And then I'm just going to grab my new favorite highlighter by The Beauty Crop, and I'm just going to play this above my cheekbones to really bring those out and make them pop since highlighted look is all the rage right now and I love this glowing skin. I'm going to do a little tiny bit on the tip of my nose as well as on my cupid's bow and my upper lip. For lips, I'm going to grab my Peach Blossom Lipstick by MAC. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. It is so beautiful and so gorgeous. And I'm just going to play this all over my lips for a really healthy, beautiful, shiny lip look. And then if you want to take it a step further, go back to that highlight and apply a small dab in the center of your lips to make your lips look a little bit bigger and just super luscious. And that finishes up this look. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this makeup look. I love it so much. It's super sexy. And if you want to check out my review on this Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette, be sure to check that out in the description box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!